In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the new cursor agent window. So um, if you guys have kept up with cursor, there is now a new essentially user interface for using cursor on your desktop. So it's called the agent window. Um, you can see it up here when you have the AI pane open. It's an option now here. Uh, focus agent window, you can see this icon that I'm hovering over here. You can also just toggle command E and that will toggle between essentially the code editor and then the agent window. But the agent window is essentially a new interface for being able to interact with cursor. And I have to say that uh, I'm very impressed and I've started using this agent window over just the traditional, uh, what we've been using today, just this user interface, which is essentially just an extension from VS Code. Um, so if we go here, um, what you guys are going to be able to see is on the left sidebar here is essentially all of your agents. So, um, you know, as we can, as the AI continues to get better and better, managing more agents at once is obviously going to be something that uh, Vibe coders use in their workflow. So, for example, um, let's send off this prompt here, and you can now see that over on the agent window here, you know, you now have a waiting review in progress, and then yesterday's tasks. So I can then launch a new agent, and then I can just do run npm run build in build in the at view creator um, creator UI so we can do that and then as you see now we have two tasks in process and even it gives us um, how much time that both of those tasks have been running so it's very nice um, shows a lot of information that's very nice to know as a vibe coder. So then up here in the top right, there's some options that are very important. So um, the first one that I wanna show is the new toggle browser. So this is a great feature. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna to toggle the browser, but I also wanna to toggle terminal, which is another option. So when you toggle the terminal, this is where you can now manage all your terminals, which is also very nice. Let's CD into the view creator UI and get this uh, repository launched. And that's, let's run an NPM run dev. Um, and since this is building, we may get some refresh errors while this is happening, um, but we'll do the best that we can. So let's now uh, go to localhost uh, 3000, where that is that project is actually running. And um, as you can see, we did get a refresh error, but let's just run npm run dev again and reload. And what's gonna happen is now we're gonna actually be able to see view creator inside of cursor itself, which um, is very, very nice. Um, so if you extend here, you can see that now you can actually um, access the browser inside of cursor. So instead of having to have, you know, Google Chrome uh, open or, you know, whatever you use for development, you can now actually um, browse inside of cursor itself. So let's just go to sign in, for example, and we're able to navigate that. Um, looks like there's a little bit of a UI problem if you guys notice that. So there, it looks like they're still figuring things out, but as you guys can see, you know, things are um, getting better and agentic coding is continuing to move uh, faster and faster. So it's nice to see you know, cursor be able to kind of envision, okay, this is what it's gonna look like. It's all gonna be in this agent window and you're gonna be able to do everything from essentially uh, one home base. So I really, really like what they did here. Um, so that's really nice. Also, another thing that I wanna talk about in this agent window that's really important is if you see this um, browser use here. So now by default, they've added a browser. So you can now click browser here and that's gonna then open up the browser in this pane. So you guys can see when I clicked browser or when I unclick it, it's you know opening up that browser. So now if you click browser and let's say you go to Code Supernova 1M, which is a free model by, um, I think it's X um, or Grok. Um, so you, know, you can use that and now you can say, review the home page of the at view creator UI and uh, identify mobile responsiveness issues. So you can send that off and it's then going to be able to use the browser tool to be able to, so the browser tool is now natively built into cursor. So to date, you know, a lot of people have been using obviously the Playwright MCP to be able to um, enact and use that MCP to take, take screenshots and whatnot. But now, um, you know, that tool is now built into cursor. So another um, addition to what they've done, there's also a couple more features up here. I would say that the browser use and then terminal use are the ones that I use the most. There's also toggle files. But for some reason, like when I click this, uh, nothing happens. So, you know, like right here, I'm not sure if that's just a bug or if they're figuring things out, but toggle files for me doesn't do anything. So I'm not sure why that is. And then here, um, there's also, you can see, you guys can see that there's a little bit of a bug there, but you can also have the git commits. So um, there in this one, toggle right sidebar, that has access to the git commits. And then here, you can also toggle um, your files there. So a lot of people have been asking, hey, how do you toggle your files? 
Well, you can go toggle right sidebar and then you have now have the option to toggle between the branches or um, the files in your project. So if you guys are used to dragging and dropping from your repository, that's how you do that is um, you can essentially um, toggle multiple things at once. So you guys can see that this new agent window, you know, when I'm using it now, um, this is how I have it set up. So let me let me fix this uh, refresh error here. But let's now just do like one simple task using this setup. And I want to keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, but you know, I have this running, I have my browser running. Um, let's let that load in. Um, is it going to load in? Let's see here. Looks like it's struggling here. Um, let's try going to another terminal here. Mm. All right, maybe we should do a refresh. Let's reload the window here. Um, so again, like, hey, when I'm getting this set up, browser enabled, then terminal enabled, and then also you can toggle that right sidebar to have access. And that's really the best way to set it up because now you have your agent manager here on the left, and then you have obviously your prompting agents here on this section. Then you have access to the browser and any other tools that you need. Let's actually go to the creator UI. Um, and we'll see if that is running better. Um, because obviously, you know, it seems to me like they are working out some problems here. Let's just uh, copy and paste this in now that that's running. So let's paste that in and see if we can get that to load in, which it did. did. So this is the view creator creator dashboard. And now let's navigate over to, for example, let's just go to the playground, right? Um, so there's an error on the playground. So this is perfect. So what I would do now here is I would say, okay, there's an error on this page. Let's now drop in this. And then let's go and let's just drop in the URL. Um, we have browser use enabled and let's just send off this prompt, right? And essentially what's going to happen is it's going to be able to use browser use. It's going to be able to um, you know, see what's wrong because I dropped in the error. And also if we wanted to be able to drop in certain things, like there's certain parts of the project right now that the view creator project is obviously a very large project with um, several different repositories. Um, we're able to navigate that code base on the right here. So this is very, very intuitive, and I think that they're going to continue to improve it. But what I see is the continued uh, trajectory of agentic AI coding tools. And what I see is that this really is the future of coding. And a lot of people, they look at vibe coding in a, der a derogatory way. But the truth is, is that, you know, the term vibe coding really should be called AI coding or AI driven development. You know, vibe coding is kind of termed as the use of a programmer that has no idea what they're doing and they're prompting AI to do everything for them, but they don't really know what's going on. But the thing is, is that in the future, the best programmers will be those that actually are able to integrate AI into their workflow in the best way possible. And obviously, tools like Cursor and their continued um, use and um, evolvement into things like this where you have drag and drop, browser use, terminal, agent, agent management over here on the left. Obviously, this is continuing to get better. So I hope that this uh, this video, very short, but I just wanted to show you guys how I'm setting up my cursor agent window so that you had a reference of how I think the best way to do it is. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the future.